the graph of a function f of x is given. The domain of the function is minus 10 to 10. Question A. Where are the local maximum and local minimum of the function? All right. So a local maximum is a peak. It's a place where the, the y value is the highest for all nearby values. And so this point right here would be a local maximum. This point right here would be a local maximum. When it comes to this point here, if the point was actually on the graph, it'd be a local maximum. But the way it's broken like this, it's, it's not a local maximum there. Okay. And so local maximum will occur at what x value? It's unclear what they're looking for, but we're going to say that they're looking for the x value. So this x value here is negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. I believe that's a negative 7. And then this x value here would be 0. So x equals negative 7. x equals 0. Okay, great. Next up, local minimum values. And so, we're looking for the opposite of that. We're looking for a little valley. And so, local minimum would occur right here, for sure. That is uh, 2. And, um, and nowhere else. This could possibly be a local min, but the problem is that you have to check both the left and right and make sure that it is the smallest that the function ever gets, and there's nothing to check over here. Um, it's not this, you know, technically if you check the left-hand side, you're up here somewhere. And so, that is not a local min. All right, great. So we have x equal 2 is the only local min. Also, I want to make a note that local mins cannot occur at the endpoint. You see, once again, you got to check both the left and the right, and there's nothing to check on this left-hand side. There's nothing to check on this right-hand side, and so we can't call these guys local minimums. So basically, uh, local maxes and local mins cannot occur at the endpoints. All right, great. That is the end of question A. Next up, question B. What are the local extreme values of the function? So when you see the word values, that means the y value. And so we have the x values, but we want to know the actual y where they occur at. So here's Letter B, x equals negative 7, y will be equal to uh, 10, no, 9, 9. x equals 0, y will be equal to 3. x equal negative 2, y is equal to, what am I saying negative 2? I'm sorry. Positive 2. What am I talking about here? Negative 2. Um, x equal 2, and then y is equal to 0. So these are the local extreme values. These guys are local max values, and that guy is a local min value. Okay, great. Letter C. Letter C says, uh, does f of x have an, any absolute extrema? And so, if you have a function who is uh, defined on an interval like this, from negative 10 to 10, or any, any uh, closed interval, um, and it's bounded, where it doesn't go off to infinity or minus infinity, yes, the function will achieve 
its local max, I mean absolute max, and its absolute min. Now for absolute, they can occur at the endpoints. And so we got to check on not just the, the biggest the function ever gets on the inside, but possibly the biggest the function ever gets, including the endpoints. And so an absolute max is the biggest that the function ever gets, the biggest y value. And the biggest y value is uh, 9, and it occurs at negative 7. The absolute max is going to occur at x equals negative 7. The absolute min is going to occur the smallest that the function ever gets, because this dot is closed here, is at x equals negative 4. Okay, so you can be an absolute min and not a local min on the inside. That's, that's possible. In letter D, the question is basically what are these values? And so we have when x equals negative 7, the y value is 9. And when x equals negative 4, the y value is negative 2. And these guys are the absolute extreme values. Okay. All right. That's it for that question.